All right, fellas. I finally, after much uh, digging around in the interwebs and whatnot, I finally got this ironed out in my noggin about the uh, neutral safety switch wiring. This is the one that was on the pedal that I have for the cars. When I got, I don't know where it came from, but if you can see in there, only this one has pins in it or uh, prongs for the wiring. This one doesn't have anything. And everything I saw when I was looking for clutch switch, it had like two connectors on there. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. So then I ordered one from Rock Auto, or no, uh, LMR. And it had two, one in each, you know, two uh, prongs in each uh, socket. So until I started digging on this, I didn't know that there was like a starter clutch pedal switch and a neutral safety switch. So the front ones come from the uh, EC processor. You got a pin 30, which is this one, I think. This comes from the processor. And it goes through the switch and it tells you when it's in, uh, when you got the clutch depressed. And I think it also deals with neutral. But, uh, well, so, and then this one goes back. It's, I think it's, this one is the, goes to pin 46. That's the feedback saying that the clutch switch is open or closed. If you have a carved car, you don't need to worry about this one. You just have this one comes off your ignition switch. It's uh, white with a pink stripe. Run it to there and then run this one, the red with a light blue stripe. Run that out to your solenoid and you're golden. This is only for EFI cars. So uh, let's see what else. Oh. This uh, EFI, the EEC harness. This has got all the wire numbers and the pins, what, the, uh, what they do. This is something uh, Tom Moss put together. This is for the 88 to 91. That's the address on the interwebs. A lot of wiring diagrams here are very useful.com Mustang. Put that in your uh, start page or Google or Duck, Duck, Duck Go, whatever you use, and you can find it. This is just a random picture I found. So like I said, this, uh, this connector goes from the EEC loops through the uh, oxygen sensor harness and then goes through the neutral switch and then back over to pin 46. So this is a this is a harness I was looking for. I finally found one in a tub. This one I got from Amir. We bought it for Vincent's Capri. This came from Painless Wiring. The good thing about them is they got all the names of all the wiring, you know, what it does, where it goes, whatever. And uh, so this is the one I had for the LTD. Well, I didn't use, didn't plan to use it on the LTD, but I have it, so it's getting used on the LTD. This is uh, just a factory one. But using that and these, I was able to get a good handle on where everything goes. And I was in the, what I usually do is the paralysis by analysis uh, mode for a little while. I want to make sure I have my brain wrapped around it 100%. But what helps is these things, especially if you're going to do wiring. Like I bought these many, many years ago when I had uh, first got the uh, LTD and I was going to convert it to a sequential fuel injection because it came uh, CFI and AOD. This is called a Helm Manual Electrical and Vacuum Troubleshooting. They're made by, I think it was Helm. You can't find them anymore or buy them new, you got to get them on eBay or Amazon. And the uh, good thing about them is they have all of the connectors, all the wiring, uh, you know, the color, where it goes and all that. And you can look like you got a certain connector you want to try to find. It'll tell you where it's at. And then here in the back, it's got what each of the connectors do. Uh, you know, like so you see there. And then uh, uh, component testing, all good information. And like I said, you can't get these new anymore. Helm sells uh, CDs for the newer cars, 
but they stopped making these for the older cars. So if you go look for your year, um, you can find what you're looking for on, usually, like I said, on e eBay or Amazon. They're around $15 to $25, uh, and they are well worth it. I got a 90, 90 Mustang one because the harness, all the donor harness stuff I got for the conversion on the LTD came off a 90 Mustang. So I had to kind of piece together all the stuff, and I was able to pull off a successful uh, sequential fuel injection conversion. As, even as much as I hate messing with wiring, that's probably why it's taken me so long to get make any headway on this. But I got it ironed out. I'm really confident. I know um, where everything goes and how everything works and all that. So now that I got my brain wrapped around it, I can proceed and get that part wrapped up. So. That's essentially it. Uh, like I said, it's not terribly hard, but once you get get the information and uh, get it figured out, it's pretty easy. You just gotta just gotta get started on it. So, all right, appreciate y'all. Later.